I'll talk about the uh, the mathematics yeah. of this. Um, now, it appears to be a linear item because it's flat. It appears to be a linear item, um, but when uh, we're told that when people spoke to the wampum belts, they held it in their arms, so all of a sudden it wasn't a flat item. Um, and the stories do not go from left to right, uh, which in North America is the, the way our, our stories on the printed page go. In other countries it would go from right to left, in other parts of the world. But actually you would say that, that our story starts here. And uh, the items that, uh, that this document, that this belt is made from, are beads that come from this shell and I, I'm still learning so much there's so much more to learn but um, since the last time I talked about this with the, the math the community of practice uh, and again modern science is catching up with traditional knowledge scientists have found out that these creatures the quahogs which are only found off the northeast coast of Turtle Island of North America are the oldest living creatures. They have found quahogs alive that are 500 years old. And when you think about it, what better thing to make a document out of that was supposed to last as long as the rivers run, uh, the promises were supposed to last as long as the sun rose in the east, than something that, that lived the longest. So, um, so the thought that went into this, rather than just stringing a bunch of beads together and making pictures, the pictures are important because they symbolize images. You were very limited because of the shape of your, of your raw materials. You couldn't make complete circles. Everything sort of had to be more or less rectangular. Um, but these, these finished documents, it would take, um, it would take a woman um, they said two days to create one bead. This belt, the, the Treaty of Niagara Covenant Chain Wampum Belt, has 10,076 beads in it. These beads would take months before they had machines that would make them, but at the time this belt was given to the Indian tribes of North America uh, to uh, recognize that they were nations in, 17, in the summer of 1764. Um, these beads would have taken a long time to put together to make and they were so precious um, and that was another part of of the knowledge it wasn't just a legal agreement which it became uh, a legal agreement between um, the first nations the indian tribes of north america and the newcomers in this case the mightiest european empire that had ever existed the british empire um, bound together in a chain of friendship. You can see the links, you can see the date, 1764. Um, but they, they understood that this, because it was supposed to last forever, this agreement, these promises, it's still alive. This, there's no statute of limitations on, on uh, treaty promises. Um, but the fact they were made out of sacred items and everything that came from the sea and from water was, was and is considered sacred by indigenous peoples because that's our source of life. We all are born in water. Um, we can't survive without water. And these creatures, the quahogs, um, from which these agreements, uh, historic agreements are made, uh, are from the water. Um, so they're sacred. Um, and we discovered when we talk about shapes, um, uh, you'll see shapes repeat themselves in different belts. Um, and it's interesting, when we were having one of these um, replicated by some Shawnee women in the United States, and the first thing you do uh, is make a template, actual size template, showing all of your beads. That, that takes quite a bit of time in itself to make a paper template, the exact size, and um, we had wondered, and if you look at the ends of this belt, you can see a little half of a diamond shape, and at the other end, 
you can see about one and a half diamonds. And nobody, we had nobody with all of our experts who, who have studied these uh, items, nobody knew what they meant. And, and of course, when, when human beings don't know, they start to guess. So if someone said, oh, maybe it stands for uh, council fires or something, there are all sorts of, and all sorts of um, guesses. And when these ladies laid their piece of paper down on a table, and they went somewhere for a coffee or something, and when they came back, paper being what it is, it all tends to fold up. And we found that this end exactly matches the other end, which meant that this document was not to be seen flat, but to be seen in a circle. So the circle reigns supreme, even in an object that many people tend to think of as two-dimensional, uh, but it's really not. If you envisage the wampum belt sitting on this table in a circle, it exactly fits a game which uh, echoes the meaning of the treaty that they were to last forever. A circle does not end, uh, it lasts forever.